Hey, Jasmine. Here I am at the fountain where I live at. And I told you I was thinking about telling you a story at the fountain. Well, I don't actually have a book on me, but I do have a story. This story is kind of reminds me of this fountain. When Grandma was a little girl, that's me, Grandma Laura, when I was a little girl, I used to swim a lot. My little sister and me, my two little sisters, my big sister and my little sister, sorry, we used to all swim. And I think we started swimming when I was probably four, and your great aunt Peggy was three, and your great aunt Diane was about oh, five. So three, four, and five. That's we were little. So we started swimming, and we got so good that we were on the swim team. So we spent all our day in the pool, swimming, 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 swimming. We loved it. Well, we had to go and swim laps for practice so we could get faster. And then after we did our swim team practice, maybe about an hour or two afterwards, we'd go home little bit of cereal or something and we grab our towels and we head off to the swimming pool. We start walking and we meet all of our friends down there at the pool. Well, during swimming at the pool they have rules and one of the rules was when the lifeguard blew the whistle that everybody was to get out of the pool because maybe they had to do a little bit of put something in the water to keep it clean or maybe they saw a storm coming and they didn't want the kids to get electrocuted by lightning in the water. So they had rules. The rules were when you hear the lifeguard blow the whistle, get out of the pool. Well, me, Grandma, decided one day that she was just having too much fun. She didn't want to get out of the pool. I mean, I heard the whistle blow, and everybody got out of the pool, and all the kids were out there, and I decided I was going to goof around and run around in the kiddie pool. Now, kiddie pool is kind of like this fountain. You see how the fountain is not real deep? You could stand up in this fountain, and you're not underwater. It's pretty shallow. So I was goofing off in this kiddie pool, and I was probably about, I don't know, nine years old maybe, nine or ten at the time. So I was a good swimmer. I had already did maybe about five years on the swim team, and I knew better. I knew I shouldn't have been doing it, but I was feeling in a goofy mood that day. Ooh, I'm going to be silly. So I jumped out of the big pool and into the kiddie pool. And I was running around the pool, and the lifeguard told me, you know, get out of the kiddie pool. And I'm laughing because I'm thinking everything's funny, you know. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm having so much fun. I'm silly. I'm goofy, you know, and I'm not listening to the lifeguard. Well, Grandma learned a lesson that day. Not to be silly or goofy. I can be silly or goofy. I'm still that way. But... Sometimes there's rules that they were told to protect us. Maybe our mom or our dad told us a rule, or our grandma, or our auntie, or our Lala, or somebody in our family tells us a rule. People that we respect, we care about, and we're supposed to listen to. Not everybody, not every grown up, but the ones that we're supposed to listen to, like maybe our teacher or whatever. We're supposed to listen to the rule. Well, the rule that, I, the thing I learned was, get out of the pool when the whistle blows. And I'll tell you how I learned that. You see my beautiful teeth? Right? Well, Grandma was running around in the pool. There was something slippery on the bottom of it. And I landed right on my face. Right on my face, on the bottom of that kiddie pool, and busted out my two front teeth to where they looked like a couple of sharp, pointy teeth on the side here. You know, like little vampire teeth, if you've ever seen a vampire, or a sharp tooth. 
My teeth weren't square anymore. They were two sharp teeth right there. I busted them right out. I jumped up, screaming, yelling, hollering about my teeth, holding my mouth, maybe something like that. I can't remember too much about it. Maybe I didn't even holler. Maybe I just grabbed my mouth. I was kind of like that. I probably was really embarrassed by something stupid that I'd done. <laughs> Wasn't it the first time I did something dumb? It won't be the last time I do something dumb, I'm sure. But anyway, I thought I'd share that little story with you. I ran around, and I even got a school picture taken with my two front teeth smiling with my teeth out. Well, fortunately, I was able to go to the dentist and the dentist was able to fix those teeth. I had to be like that for about a year or two. And I ended up busting, busting another one out again, swimming. But that was a different story. Um, that time I wasn't breaking any rules and I was listening to the rules. It was just an unfortunate accident in the pool. Spent a lot of time in the pool. So, I was kind of a silly wild kid, really athletic very energetic, a lot of energy, always wanting to run, 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 swim, swim, swim. I'm kind of still that way, just a bigger kid. Uh, and I listen to the rules a little bit, a little bit better now. But here's the, here's the fountain I want to show it to you. Ooh, just, grandma just about dropped the camera. <laughs> Quick reflexes. Grandma's got some quick reflexes. Isn't that beautiful? I like it. All right, I have no idea what my hair looks like right now. I just got out of the garden, I was weeding, and I came up here, I was washing my hands in the fountain. Probably not supposed to do that, huh? I don't know. But I know we're not supposed to swim in this fountain. Anyway, I love you, Jasmine, and I do have a book that I'm gonna read to you about the dentist because the dentist is something that a lot of kids need to learn about and sometimes they're afraid of the dentist but I'm hoping I can read a book to you so you won't be afraid of the dentist I'm not really afraid of the dentist I talk to my dentist and I say this is what I want or this is what I need and then if the dentist isn't any good I'll find me another dentist all right I love you Jasmine bye bye Ha, ha, ha.